Hello everyone. Wanted to touch base with you on something that uh, I wasn't aware that was out yet. The uh, It's kind of amazing that the, we worked on this uh, concept in 2006, somewhere around there, and I wasn't the only one working on it. And But I did some verification numbers and uh, we called it the MANA. And, uh, I have never really been up to speed on canards until this year because of the Raptor project and studying Bert, Tan, Bert Rattan's design. But uh, anyway, the Lillian aircraft has come out uh, and I don't know anything about them. I just happened to see this, don't know how long it's been out. Uh, looks like maybe since 2019, but anyway, I'm always the last to see stuff that comes out. I don't really uh, do a lot of video work. Uh, electric motors and this right here is the prototype armature, armature for a permanent magnet motor that became the prototype for the Mogen and the uh, it's technology that was originally developed uh, in Germany and uh, I finally after three years hard work was able to uh, reverse engineer the process for the Mogen if you're interested in that type of technology, look up the Lockridge device. Anyway, I want to get into my presentation today. Um, the MANA, uh, like the P-51 Mustang, was designed uh, right after uh, uh, the Dolphin, the uh, Porpoise, you know, the Flipper, and turned upside down, uh, it pretty well does that. And that's something in nature that happens a whole lot that uh, designers uh, work with. Um, the uh, concept was just taking that and getting lines of it and uh, I was involved with that back in the day when this aircraft was being looked at. A principle most people don't realize is that uh, if you have a ducted fan, and ducted fans are so much more efficient than just an open propeller, okay? But you can put the suction side right on your airfoil and it actually gives you lift and depending on how it's configured there's quite a bit of advantage that the airplane thinks it's lighter because of Bernoulli's force coming over and the exhaust when it's positioned correctly uh, in the rotation. So uh, this was the first concepts of VTOL that I was aware of back in the day uh, uh, rocketry and those things. And that's the concept that is very important to keep in mind. The, uh, uh, the boundary layer that comes across the airflow, uh, it holds that boundary layer closer and uh, uh, you're able to adjust that. So you can actually pitch that for vertical takeoff and then transition it in the air. The, uh, uh, the optimum sizes, and of course working with motors and things like that, a uh, 10 inch ducted fan is pretty dead gum efficient. Of course, that's not enough to run a whole aircraft, but uh, uh, we believe that we can get a nine to one uh, um, uh, weight to thrust ratio for each unit. And uh, about as good as we can do right now is a little over six and a half pounds uh, per unit. And uh, our target is to get that down about 4.4. Uh, these units uh, 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 consume about 9.44 equivalent. That's before the Mogen uh, uh, technology has introduced that. So anyway, something we've been working on. Now something uh, that I want to touch base with you is that uh, the commissions that I received for research and development has pretty much been the uh, move to agriculture. Uh, precision agriculture, the, uh, I've gotten uh, uh, more money in that direction, so I get to put the aviation on the back burner. But this is something that I had in mind for doing the Mooney, and so anybody else who wants to take on with it, the same concept can be done with Mooney, canard type aircraft. Uh, it's pretty simple, but this is a company that's actually taken this technology. You never know who you're doing things uh, for, 
that uh, I'm not going to say it's stolen or anything. The uh, although I have uh, noticed that they have gotten patents on it, but the name of the company is Lillian. Supposedly have patents. I don't know how they would patent it. Uh, we had the um, uh, intellectual property uh, rights to it uh, way before 2008. So I'm thinking 2000. Uh, 2002, 2003, uh, the concept was being looked at by several people around the world. But anyway, Lily and his company has taken off with it. Uh, something that's very important that uh, when you're sizing duck fans, uh, when you go with the smaller duck fans, uh, the because of the force that eats up energy. So the optimum sizing that we found is about a 10 inch diameter. That's just a, 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 a food for thought of the way the system works. The, uh, the uh, original drawings that were drawn up were just like that. Uh, this particular configuration is 12 on each wing in the back, uh, total of 24, and then uh, uh, six on each canard. And you can see the uh, way they would work. Um, Laminar flow airplanes like to fly. Now we did have some things in the concept when we were doing battery management that uh, once you got to altitude, you could use part of the fans to to recharge your batteries, and then uh, part of the fans for thrust. So that was the original uh, concept of doing that with the BMS systems. The uh, that's their concept. It's beautiful. Uh, that's more than uh, just CAD drawings. They've actually uh, put that together. I'm not a CAD guy. Uh, I've got some of the original CAD drawings somewhere in all my boxes of stuff, but uh, um, uh, I have the original CAD drawings to this, and uh, uh, that was done back in the day. That was one of the reasons that the Raptor project really, really took my mind. Uh, way because it was similar to stuff I was familiar with, but I did not understand the canard drive like I understand it now. Uh, all the control surfaces were actually, uh, uh, as, as, as far as the unit, uh, was actually controlled by power control of the fans on that type of computer. So there wasn't really movable control surfaces other than the, the, the VTO uh, drops in that. So, uh, there it is right there and the, uh, they built two prototypes I understand one of the prototypes that they built caught on fire when they were doing maintenance on it uh, very easy to understand uh, to do that you can see how the uh, uh, surfaces rotate together to uh, do that very exciting aircraft they do have it flying but performance wise um, Without the Mojin technology, I estimate for what they're doing for actual flight time uh, in vertical takeoff, uh, this company was uh, saying 300 nautical mile range. Uh, I, that's designed at that point. They don't have the technology that I know of that I've got. I mean, there are many people are working on it, but uh, uh, they're not there yet. Uh, batteries is a whole other solution, like I said, with the Mojin technology. But uh, wanted to make you aware of, of uh, stuff. Now, the my solution uh, with this was actually building the batteries structurally in with the whole unit, where the battery units are actually structurally integrated. <coughs> we still have problems uh, for the type discharge and the damage to the plates and the uh, conversion with labor. Um, it's expensive. Okay, it's not cheap. Peter solution with the Audi, um, uh, with Raptor, it's a Audi 3 liter TDI diesel engine, uh, for overall performance uh, beats this concept all to pieces. Uh, service ceiling originally for this was 14,500 feet. Uh, we had the target cruise speed at 185, uh, maximum structural speed never exceed was uh, uh, 142 miles an hour, not notch, but 142 miles an hour. Uh, <coughs> and they were projected at the time uh, about a two hour flight time was possible, but that was based on uh, uh, battery density. We could extend that flight time with the correct battery management system 
but we were still a long way without the Mojin technology of being six hours flight time. So wanted to touch base on that. Uh, this has been a dream of mine working with these type uh, propulsion, making it safer, making it better. Uh, uh, lots to go through it, but your your boundary layer, uh, uh, as it's ingested through the suction side of your uh, 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 fan, and then using that, you have lots of things in there. And like I said, I was aware of this technology with rocket propulsion, uh, um, uh, vertical takeoff and landing stuff that I'd worked on before. We had looked at that. Uh, is part of an integral structure of, of actually adding airflow into that. So that actually came from the rocket uh, uh, side of, of uh, what Legionnaireing does. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoy my presentation, uh, the improved lift, perf uh, improved performance of the system. Uh, uh, it is up and flying, and just do uh, a search for um, uh, the Lillian and uh, you can see it all there. The, hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you have a happy new year. Like I said, the, uh, uh, my time is now having to be spent. Aviation is my passion. Don't get me wrong. Aviation is my passion. But as far as the everyday uh, uh, stuff that I do, uh, I have contracts already to um, work with the precision farming which uh, uh, does the other things that I'm interested uh, uh, um, working with uh, mainly it's uh, I've never made a dime off of aviation I've always said with aviation you just throw the money up in the air and that that sticks to the ceiling you get to keep and uh, but I love flying and pilot and flight instructor round ground schools um, but it's just not part of my uh, uh, day-to-day -day operations like it once was. So hope this helps you, and uh, we'll see you next trip. I hope you're having fun because we are.